Good morning. Here we go, share the link. So, who do we have? Jane, <laughs> lovely. So I'm just going to wait another two minutes and then we can begin. Let's see, there's four people. <laughs> Good morning, anyone who's here. Good morning, Sue. Hello, how are you all feeling? It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. It's quite hot already. So we're going to be twisting today. We're going to twist it to these bodies. <sighs> Need it today. Make sure you have um, maybe some water to hand if you feel you're going to get thirsty. It's going to be a hot one. And I also recommend maybe having a little hand towel because um, I don't know about you, but your hands and feet tend to get a little bit sweaty. So it's good to have um, hand towels, especially you can wipe your hands. 
because uh, uh, things get a little bit slippery, especially if you're trying to hold your toes, hold the feet, bind into the feet, and you've got sweaty hands and feet. So when the weather's hot, always good to have a hand towel to use. So one more minute and then we will begin. In the meantime, everyone just come to your seated Sukhasana position on your mats because we're going to start seated. So you can sit on a block or on a cushion, just prop the hips up whilst we center ourselves at the beginning, okay? So I'm just going to go grab a quick sip of water before we begin. So I'll see you in about 10 seconds. So there we go. Just have a little sip of water. Okay, so let's begin. So today we have a focus on our focus on twisting. And twisting is amazing for bringing out, detoxifying, stimulating all the internal organs, helping us release those things, those all those negative things emotionally and physically that we don't need. So coming to your, down onto your mats, just check you have everything you need. As I said, maybe a sweat towel, because it's a warm morning already, the temperature is apparently around 19, 20 degrees. So it's going to be a very hot day. Straps, blocks, have those to hand, um, if you use these props, um, I will be offering you to come up into an inversion at the end of your choice. So if you feel you want to practice your headstand, then check you have a space for that. Um, if you don't do it, if you do it in the middle of the room, great, but always make sure your space is clear of obstacles just in case you do roll out or you put your kick your legs out, you want to be hurting yourself, knocking things over, etc. So always check your space. And then, yeah, that's it really. So seated position, Sukhasana. So first of all, we're going to ground ourselves and center ourselves. Today's mudra, seal, hand seal, is called, and I've not used this one before, it's called Narayani Narayana Mudra. And this is for the spirit of new beginnings. So it's for when you want to start afresh or you want to um, get out of any old habits and old ruts that you might have got yourself set into. So we do this mudra the following way. So your ring finger pushes onto your thumb. So instead of the pointer finger, touching the thumb, it's the ring finger. So then the other, you have two piece thing, oh sorry, not piece, yeah, it's, it's that one. So placing the hand then back onto your lap or onto your tops of your, your above your knees, onto the thighs, just find a comfortable spot. So this is Narayana Mudra, so new beginnings. So just centering ourselves, bringing ourselves into the present moment. Sitting the spine, tall, elongating the spine long. Shoulders stacking over the hips, crown of the head over the center of the pelvis. Gently closing the eyes just to bring our focus and attention inwards. So just first, listening out for any sound outside of the room. And then bringing our attention inwards. So it's like a, an onion skin, you're kind of working your way in, layering yourself into your center. So today we'll begin our practice with a single OM. 
This is to raise your vibration, to also unify us all together as a group. So taking a nice deep breath in through the nose. Um. So starting to notice the sensations in the body. Feeling your seat, your sit bones, firmly grounded into your mat, into your cushion or onto your blocks. Feeling the feet, the edges of the feet touching the floor. Noticing the hands where they touch the legs. Noticing the point of contact between that finger and thumb. Feel the energy there. Feeling the body, any sensations that arise, just take your focus and attention there for a moment. Just observe without criticism, without judgment, and give yourself compassion, self-care and love. Just notice that sensation, observe, and then come back to your anchor, your breath, your life force, your prana, Breathing in fresh new energy, a new beginning in through the nose. Filling the lungs completely. Feeling the chest, the ribcage expand. Feeling the belly rise and then taking a pause for a few seconds, just a few moments. As you feel the energy, that oxygen, Enter into your cells, into every part of the body. Feel the whole body breathe. And then feel the turn of the corner as you begin your exhale. Release, let go. Let go of anything that doesn't serve you. And then when you feel the end of the exhale, take another pause. Just reobserve briefly the body, the energy. Feel the sensations there. And then when you're ready, take that next fresh new breath in. So nice, slow, steady breaths in through the nose, out through the nose. Observing your pause between the breath in and the breath out. Really enjoy those pauses. Knowing where you've topped up your energy, fresh new energy into the body. Feeling the joy of releasing and letting go all that doesn't serve you on the exhale. And just beginning to introduce a little ujjayi sound into the back of the throat. So that's the same sound we'd make as if, if we were fogging up a mirror going, but with the lips closed. So swirling the breath in the back of the throat. Just bringing focus and attention further to the breath. your anchor, your life force. Follow the breath, glue your attention to the breath, as much of the practice as you can. And then just beginning to wake up, Mula Bandha. So squeeze and lift into the pelvic floor. perineum, the pelvic floor, all the muscles there that help us, support us. Those are the muscles that stop us from having a pee. So really work on those muscles that they're really important. 
So squeezing and lifting into Mula Bandha, really important. Very base of your core muscles. Energetically squeeze and lift. And then on your next exhalation, gently bringing in navel to spine, waking up with Dhyana Bandha. Then bringing these two energies together, pulling them together, Squeeze and lift and draw the energy up towards your heart center. Feel that strong energy there. And lastly, before we begin to move and synchronize our breath with our body movements, with our asanas, setting ourselves a positive intention. So thinking of that new beginning, maybe, it doesn't have to be something new. It can be an intention that you've been working on for some time. If it's something new, really visualize that intention. That strong wish, if you like, something that deeply resonates with you. Visualize that to your inner mind's eye. Give it lots of detail, lots of color, lots of light. Picture it really, really clearly and definitely. Give it real pinpoint focus. And then repeat, I am. Repeat that intention, I am, three times. To yourself silently. Really feel that intention in this present moment. So slowly, slowly opening up the eyes. Slowly opening the eyes to this new beginning. Taking your fingers apart, giving them a wiggle. So if you want, you can take yourselves off your blocks now, if you feel ready to sit cross-legged without any props. We're just gonna begin a gentle twist into the torso. So taking a nice breath in, Begin to take a twist over to your right. So hooking your left arm and hand across the, the right leg. So just twisting towards the right and then turn your gaze over to your right shoulder. So your drishti is to the far right. So you're lightly touching onto the fingertips behind you. Grow the spine tall, really elongate the spine. Feel as though somebody's pulling you up from the head to the, to, from a, a thread from the top of the head up to the sky. Connect with your breath, so keep the breath flowing. Don't hold the breath in your twists. With every exhale, just see if you can rotate a little bit more around towards the right. Then taking a deep breath in, come to center and exhale over to the other way. So light touch only with the fingertips behind you, hooking your right hand across the left knee, just above the knee to the thigh. Squeeze and lift into those bandhas. Keep those switching on as much as possible. Breathing in and out through the nose, using the nose as a filter. Then big breath into center. So slowly rolling over onto your knees, so using your hands. Check that you have all the things ready for your practice, because we will be taking um, half moon pose, so we use our blocks for that. So have your blocks ready for that part of the practice that will be coming reasonably soon, so have your stuff ready for that. So first of all, let's set ourselves up in Vidalas in a tabletop position. So placing your hips over your knees, your knees hip distance apart. Press the feet firmly into the mat. Make sure you create that top of feet connection to the earth. Really push them in. Checking in on the hands, the hands underneath the shoulders. Send your 
point a finger to face the top of the mat so that your thumb is a little bit higher up than the little fingers. You, you're spinning your, your arms round, so rotating them externally, so your biceps are shining forwards, it increases of your arms shining forwards. Feel that openness occur across the collarbones. Squeeze and lift into those bandhas, Mona Bandha, Udhyana Bandha. So taking a nice deep breath in, begin to tilt the tailbone up towards the sky. So pointing the tailbone, the coccyx up to the sky. Start to lift, so you're trying to lift your heart, your chest up to the sky, lift your gaze. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Then exhale, start to roll the other way with the spine. So pushing into the hands really actively. So doming that space between the shoulder blades, drop your chin to chest. Drishti to navel, tapping the tailbone under. Inhale. Looking up, tailbone lifts, barely drops down. Exhale, going the other way. So arching the spine up towards the sky, drop the head. Inhale, into cow. Exhale, into cat. One more of each. Exhale, enjoy, push into the earth. Imagine you're like an angry cat. And then curving back to neutral. We're going to take, uh, thread the needle. So taking a nice big breath in, take your weight into your left hand, reach your right arm up to the sky. So you're starting to spin your chest to the right, look up to your right hand. Take a nice deep breath in at the top, then exhale, threading that hand, flowing it down underneath the left. So now you're going to land on your right shoulder and the right side of the head. Now this right arm needs to glue to the floor because there's a couple of options coming up. You can walk your left hand forward and create a right angle shape with the arms. So you can hold it here. Breathe deeply. Spinning and twisting a little bit more. We open the left hand up to the sky, reaching up. So feel the chest twist up, feeling the shoulder, shoulders kind of stack one on top of the other. So you can stay here. Another option, you can wrap the left hand behind the back, reach towards the right thigh. So now you can spin that chest even more. So breathing deeply in and out here. Feel a lovely twist. Lift your gaze only if it's available to you, but be careful with your neck. Feel the belly rise and fall. It's nice, strong breaths here. Reaching up just for an inhale. Then planting the left hand firmly into the earth, push into that left hand, come back to all fours. Going over the other way, so taking weight into your right hand as you lift the left up to the sky. Grow tall with those hands, reaching up, really reach as high as you can. Big breath in at the top, and then beginning to thread the needle underneath towards the right. So you're landing on your, your left shoulder and the left temple. So two choices here, walking the right arm forward. Keep your hips stacked above your knees. It's quite easy for the hips to have moved. So just check your hips are still stacking over the knees. So reaching that right arm forward, you can stay here. Glue that left arm into the floor. Reaching, if you can, the right arm up to the sky. So begin to spin and rotate that right arm back, that right shoulder back, opening the chest to the side. Wrapping the arm behind your back if you want. Looking up to the sky with your gaze. Only do that if that feels okay. Be careful with the neck. Listen to the body. Listen to the feedback. If something's hurting, then stop. Come out of the pose and reset in child's pose. Take a nice big breath in, reaching that right arm up to the sky. Plant that hand firmly into the mat. 
push really firmly coming back up. So that was our thread the needle. Tuck in the toes. Sending your buttocks towards your heels. Start to lift the knees off the mat. Bring the thighs towards your belly. So you're reaching the arms forwards. Drop the head. Just hold it here for another breath. And then starting to lift the hips up towards the sky. Walk out your dog. So start to pedal the legs. Feel that lovely stretch in the Achilles heels, the calves, the backs of the knees. Just observe any clicking, clunking that's occurring in the ankle joints, in the feet, in the knees. So keeping the fingers spread wide, that pointer finger facing the top of the mat. Just check in that there's softness in the elbow joints, that the ears, the shoulders away from the ears, so there's space there. And then now wagging your tail, so sending the hips from side to side. And then just pause briefly on one side so you can feel and appreciate a lovely stretch down the side body. So it occurs almost from the wrist all the way down the arm, all the way to the hip. And then go over to the other side. Then coming to center, rising up onto the tops of the toes. And then replacing the feet down. From here, bring the weight slightly into the hands. Step your right foot across towards the left and spin onto the inner crease, the inside of your left foot. So you're on the outside of the right foot, the inside of the left, taking forward and star. So start to lift the arm up to the sky. Stacking the arms one on top of the other. Look up to your top hand. Squeeze and lift into the side body. Two more breaths here. Keep those lip, hips lifted. And looking down to the mat, place the left hand down. Step that right foot back. Step the left foot across. Start to spin onto the inside of the right foot, the outside of the left. Push those hips up, engage the left side body. So you're stacking your arms, one on top of the other, looking up to your top hand. Squeeze the thighs towards each other. So as you're drawing the inner thighs together, squeeze into the glutes, look up to the top hand. Use that Ujjayi Sandhu breath, really focus on your breath. One more deep breath in. Exhale, look down to your supporting hand. Place the right hand back down. Step the left foot back into your downward facing dog. Little bend in the knees. And then start to walk your feet. Small steps. Take as many as you need. No rush. Walk into the top of the mat. Bend into the knees and then clasp opposite elbows. Let the head hang heavy. Nod the head, yeah. yes. Shake the head, no. Maybe draw some lovely circles with the nose. Really letting gravity work in our favor here. So the head being heavy, just creating space in those first few vertebrae of the cervical spine. And also just relaxing into the shoulders, the neck, any stiffness that's occurred overnight. And then releasing your arms, maybe take some sways from side to side. So just grazing the earth with your fingertips. So a little circle, half circles, three quarter circles, depending how far you want to twist around. Just play with it. Feel that lovely fluid motion. Work with the breath. Keep the breath flowing. Feel it out. And then releasing the hands to the floor. Take a nice bend into the legs. 
So we work the feet into the earth. We're going to roll up to standing. So start to feel the legs engaged, the thighs engaged. Squeeze into, into the quadriceps. A little arch into the spine so that cat feeling. So that we're going to stack the spine from the base. So stacking the very base of the spine on top of the pelvis. So rolling up super, super slow, consciously creating your body awareness, body intelligence, proprioception, our body in space and introspective practice too. So understanding how we feel when we move. Bring your feet together. Big toes touching. Create that V shape between the heels up towards the base of the toe, the big toe mounds. Lift all 10 toes and then root them back into the floor, into your mat, into the earth, with as much space between them as you can. So creating a really solid, wide base for your feet. Squeeze and lift into the thighs, so draw those kneecaps up. Check in on your pelvis, is it neutral? So give it a little tuck under or a tuck forward, depending on how you stand, but just... See if you can realign your pelvis neutrally. Roll the shoulders back and down. And then we're going to reach the arms up to the sky as we take our swaying palm tree. So bringing our hands together. Really press the hands together just to start with. Drawing your, the upper inner arms alongside the ears. So connect with your breath. And then circle the right wrist with the left pointer finger and thumb. Stretch that right arm as though you're pulling it out of its shoulder socket. And then start to tilt over to the left. So swing yourself over to the left. So it's almost like you're creating a little C shape with the body. It's a bit of a straight C for me, but... Just that imaginary C shape. So really stretching the right side body. So that's really flexing. And we're going to be really compressing into the left side, really crunching in there. Take a big breath in, come to center, and then change wrist, hands um, position. So circle the left wrist with pointer finger and thumb with the right hand. So pull that left arm out of its socket almost, really reach, 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 and then over to the side. So you're pushing your left hip out as well. So the hips move over as well as the body. Squeeze the thighs together. Strongly dry breath, this is quite intense. Inhale to center, then switch sides again. We'll just do one, one more each side. So over to the left. So stretch first, then jerk that right hip out. Maybe you've gone over a little bit more this time. And then back over to your right. So stretch, stretching the left side body. Jutting the left hip to the side. Then inhale, center. Bring your arms back down. Coming to stand back in mountain pose, Tadasana. So reset your feet if they're changed or moved. Reset the legs, the pelvis, the shoulders roll back and down. Draw your chin slightly towards your chest. And then bring your hands together. In your mudra, Atmanjali mudra. So taking a big breath in, let's reach your arms up to the sky. Follow your thumbs with your gaze. Looking up, inhaling. Exhale, hands through center as you forward fold deeply. Bend into the next genesis if you need to plant the hands. Into Uttanasana. Inhale for that half lift. So straighten the legs, bring the hands to the shins, gaze forward to flat back. Exhaling, dropping the hands to the floor, plant the hands, step the right knee back, drop the left knee to the floor, and tuck the toes. Breath in as you take your low crescent lunge, Anjanasana. So bringing the hands back together if you can, lift the arms up to the sky, look up to your thumbs. Let's take two breaths here. 
and then open the arms wide to the left. So twisting to the left. Look to your back mid, uh, middle finger. Inhale, sweep the left hand and right hand back up to the sky. Exhale, plant the hands firmly at the front of your mat, tuck the back toes. Inhale into a strong plank, squeeze into the thighs, dome that space between the shoulder blades. Exhale, drop the knees, chest, chin, ashtanga pranam, elbows tuck close to the body. Inhale, as you push into the hands, as they line up low to the lower ribs, it's coming into a little locust, salambasana B, looking up. Exhale through Vidalasana, so send the hips back, tuck the toes, lift the hips up into downward facing dog. Let's take two breaths here. So drishti to navel, navel to spine. Softness into the elbows, drawing the heels down towards the mat they don't have to touch. Taking a nice big breath in as you step your right foot forwards. Drop your left knee to the mat and tuck the toes. Exhale. Inhale as you sweep the arms together, hands together up to the sky. Anjanasana. So sinking into the hips, into feeling a lovely stretch in the left hip flexor, and then reaching your arms wide, reach them away parallel to the earth, out to the right. Look to your back hand. Inhale, reaching the arms back up to the sky. Exhale, framing the front foot, tap the back toes. Inhale to plank. Exhale, Ashtanga Pranam, knees gestion. Inhale, Samambhasana. Exhale, back into Big Lasana. And let's do another downward facing dog. Two breaths. Inhale, bend in the knees, step the right foot forwards, the left foot forwards, and come into a half lift. So half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale into Uttanasana, fold forwards deeply over the legs. Inhale, bringing the hands up through centre, palms together, reaching up to the sky. Urfa Hastasana. Exhale, flowing all the way down into Uttanasana. Let's continue. Plant the hands. Inhale, half lift. Then plant the hands, step to the right knee back, left leg, um, left leg stays forward, drop the knee. Inhale into Anjanasana, one breath. Exhale, frame the front foot. Step the front foot back into plank. Exhale through knees, chest, chin. Elbows tuck close. Inhale into Salambhasana. Exhale through the Dalasana and into downward facing dog. Take two breaths here. Stepping your right foot forward, exhale, drop the left knee. Inhale into the Anjanasana. One breath, look up to your hands. Exhale, frame the front foot. And then this time, inhale to step the left foot back and forwards to join the right. And take your half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands through centre. Reach the hands up to the sky. Follow your thumbs with your drishti. A little micro back bend here, send the hips forwards, arms back. Then flowing all the way down, hands through center into Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, fingertips to earth or hands to shins. Plant the hands, exhale, step the right knee back. Inhale into Anjanasana. And this time, plant the hands. We're going to do a little, a little twist. So we're going to Take your right hand to the floor, so it's level with your left foot, and then draw your right leg, up, your right foot up towards the buttock. Reach for that right foot with your left hand, and then taking a twist to the left. So you're rolling your left shoulder back, looking over your left shoulder. Big breath in, release the back foot, tuck the toes. Sending that left foot back. Inhale, exhale through, bit of asana, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, feel salambasana. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, keep the hips lift and 
low to the floor. Exhale through, middle last on the table, top downward facing dog. Take two breaths here, reset your feet, draw your heels down towards the mat. Drishti to navel, soften into the elbows, don't look out into the elbows. Big breath in, and then stepping the right foot forwards, drop the left knee. And tap the toes. Inhale into Anjanasana. Really sinking deeply into that left hip flexor. Look up to your thumbs. And then planting that left hand down, uh, lining up with the right foot. Bring and lift that left foot up towards the buttock. Reach for the foot with the right hand. Start to open the chest to the right. Draw your foot in towards your, your um, buttock. It won't, it won't touch necessarily. But roll that right shoulder back, open the chest to the side, and look towards your right shoulder. So you'll be looking back to probably in the direction of the back of your mat. So opening the chest, twisting into the torso. Let's take another two breaths here. Nice and steady, nice and even. Big inhale, release the back foot, tap the back toes. We're going to step this left foot forwards to join the right on an inhale into that half lift in one lovely action. Exhale forward, fold deeply over the legs. Have the hands plant alongside the feet. Drop the head. Inhale, root the feet. Bring the arms up through center. Reach up to the sky. Take that micro back bend if it feels good for you. Hips forward, arms back. Then back to mountain pose. Take a breath, or two, maybe closing the eyes, just feeling the warmth in the body. We call this the Anyi, your inner fire in the Ayurvedic world. So we're stoking up that inner fire inside your belly. On your next breath in, we're kind of coming to Utkatasana, chair pose. So bend the knees. Sweep the arms down, fingertips graze the earth, and then start reaching the arms forwards and then up. If you can, bring the hands together, but the arms can stay parallel. Squeeze and lift into the belly. Squeeze into the hips, into the thighs. Feet together if you can. And then we're going to have a go at lifting the heels off the mat. So squeeze first, engage Mula Bandha, Udhyana Bandha. And slowly squeeze and lift it to bring the heels off the mat. Feel the belly engage. Feel that lightness in the body. Two more breaths. Exhale, drop the heels. And then lift the toes. Feel the difference in the body when you lift the toes. Look up between the hands. Then lowering the hips further back, so slide the hips a little bit further back in space, bring your hands to heart center in the Atmanjali Mudra. Then twisting over to the right. So bring your feet together if they want, squeeze the legs towards each other. If the knees can touch, that's good. The legs remain static, so we're only twisting in the torso. Open the chest to the side, look over your right shoulder. Open the arms. Spread your wings wide. Look up to your top hand. Squeeze into that torso. Nice, strong support. Twisting into the body. Big breath in. Now, before we go into the other side, we're going to take a little twist here. You're going to take your left hand to the floor. You're going to bring your left foot off the mat. So you're balancing on your right leg. Bring your left knee across the back of your right knee. Start to grab hold of your foot behind you and then twist yourself. Open your chest to the right. So a little bit of balance and a twist. Look over your right shoulder. Look to the sky if you can. And then release the foot down, replace the feet next to each other. Then coming back to the hands to heart center before you take your twist over to the other side. Padavita Utkatasana. So squeeze the legs together, 
feet together, knees stay locked and glued together. There's no twisting in the legs. Twist only in the torso. Open your arms, spread your wings wide, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock if you can. Lift your gaze up to the top hand. Little smile. And then we're going to take that little twist, bringing your right hand down to the floor. You can come onto your fingertips if you need to place your hand in a block, use the block. We're going to stand into your right leg. Sorry, into your left leg. Draw your right heel up towards the right buttock. Draw that right knee across the back of the left. Grab hold of the left with the left hand, the right foot. So you're using your right hand as a as a prop to hold you up to balance. It's going to be a bit wobbly, so okay. You can bend into the standing leg. Twist and lift that left shoulder back as much as you can. Squeeze and lift into the belly. Lift your gaze up to the sky. Have a go. If you wobble, that's okay. Big breath in. Release the right foot down. Just briefly sweeping the arms forwards and up. Back into our chair pose. Squeeze the thighs together. Then inhale, root to rise, lift the arms to the sky, spread your arms wide, bring your hands back down by your sides. Surya Namaskar B. We're taking just two rounds this time today. Inhale, chair. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Plant the hands, step, or jump back into plank. Exhale, knees, just chin, your choice of taking chaturanga with the elbows bent. Inhale, upward facing dog or sticking with the locust position from the previous rounds. Exhale, drive the hips back, downward facing dog, one breath. Inhale, lifting the right leg to the sky, three-legged dog, hold it here. So the hips do not twist, they point down to the ground, flex the lifted foot. Come onto the ball of the left foot. Bring the right knee into chest. Touch your nose with your knee. Weight into the hands a little bit more. Step that left foot forward. I mean right foot forwards. From the ball of the left foot. Slowly stacking the spine up. Body upright. Lifting the hands up to the sky. Bring the hands together if you can. Into Ashtachandrasana. One big breath in. Exhale, frame the front foot. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lowering down your choice. Inhale up dog, or your choice of version thereof, exhale downward facing dog. Inhale lifting the left leg to the sky. So keeping an eye on those hips, no twisting yet. Come on the ball of the right foot, weight a little bit more into the hands. Scoop that right left knee in towards the nose, touch it if you can, step forwards between the hands. Stand the ball of the back foot, hips drive forwards, Stack the spine nice and tall, reaching up with the arms, hands together or arms apart. Look up to your hand. This is a balance, so again, if you wobble, don't worry, no judgment. Exhale, frame the front foot. Inhale, step the front foot back. Exhale, lower and down, your choice, yogi's choice. Inhale, upward dog, Usanambasana. Exhale, drive the hips back. Squeeze navel to spine, downward facing dog. Take another deep breath in and out. On your next breath in. Bend the knees so the thighs come towards the belly, come on the balls of the feet, look to the top of the mat. Keep the hips high. Hop, step, or jump on the next. Come to the top of the mat. Breath in, half lift. Scoop the belly up. Exhale, deeply forward fold. Bring the hands alongside the feet. Inhale into chest. Squeeze the thighs towards each other. Follow the thumbs with your drishti. Let's forward fold, exhale. Hands alongside the feet, drop the head. Inhale, half lift, fingertips or hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands as you step the jump and lower yourself down with control. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lifting the right leg to the sky, this time bending the knee. Open the hip up to the side, so now you can twist into the hips. So you're trying to 
Send that right heel towards your left buttock. Look under the left armpit. Inhale, leg back to centre. Come the ball of that left foot. Weight slightly forward. You know, scoop that knee underneath. Lightly step forwards. Drop the back heel this time into warrior one, Virabhadrasana. One breath as you reach the arms up to the sky. Look up to your thumbs. Exhale, frame the front foot. Step the front foot back. And then lower yourself down. Inhale, up dog. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Open the chest, look up. Exhale, drive those hips back. Squeeze the navel to spine. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Bend the knee. Kick towards the right buttock with the left heel. Look under the right armpit. Really open the hip up as much as you can. Inhale to centre. Ball of the back foot. Weight slightly forward. Knee to nose if you can. Step lightly between the hands. Drop the back heel. Warrior one, one breath. Look up to your thumbs. Exhale, frame the front foot. Step the front foot back, inhaling. Then exhale, chaturanga arms if you can. Inhale, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, exhale. Let's all take a nice deep, full breath in. Open the mouth, sigh the breath out. Big breath in. Sigh the breath out. Deep breath in, this time sticking the tongue out too and looking to the third eye. So release and let go of anything that doesn't serve you. On your next breath in, bend the knees. Look to the top of the mat. Exhale, step, hop, jump to the top. Inhale, half lift. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, come into chair pose. Just hold for one breath. And then coming back to Tadasana Mountain Pose. So from here, we are going to set ourselves up into Paragrita Ardha Chandrasana. So take your block. We're going to twist over to the uh, to the right. So let me get this right. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to take your weight into your right leg. Take your hand, your left hand, onto your block. You're going to lift your left leg up parallel to the earth or hip distance apart. Squeeze and lift into Mudra Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha. Take your right hand to your right hip. Start to open and lift that right shoulder to the sky. So start to look to your right. And then if that's available to you, lift the right hand up to the sky. Flex the lifted foot. Two more breaths. Big breath in. Exhale, look down to your front foot. Bring the left foot down alongside the right. Take the block over to the other side and take your right hand onto the block. Inhaling, lifting the right leg up parallel or level with the hip. So your standing leg left side. Take your left hand onto your left hip. Start to spin the chest towards the left, opening up that left shoulder. Flex into the lifted foot and push. And then opening up the left hand to the sky. Nice, strong, steady breaths. Big breath in. Exhale, look down to the floor towards your feet. Bring your feet together. Take your block to the side. And then step your feet wide. Step your feet nice and wide. Feet parallel with each other. And then going to take a twist here. So first, plant the hands to the floor. Take your left hand to center below the chest and then start to reach the right arm up to the sky. Look up to your top hand. Going a little bit further now, reaching your left hand to the outer right foot. 
twist a little bit more. Big breath in, lift down to the floor, bring your right hand to center, lined up with the feet. Reach the left hand up to the sky, twist and open your chest to the left, look up to your top hand. Scoop and lift, navel to spine. And then bringing the right hand to the outside of the left foot, just take that twist a little bit further. Big breath in, look down to the floor. From here, start to look to the top of the mat, spin on that right foot, set the feet together, and then roll yourself up to standing, nice and slowly. And here we're going to take just the prep version of eagle. So standing leg, right leg, root the right foot, big toe into the ground. Bringing your left knee in slowly towards your chest. And then taking that left foot across the right thigh. Open the knee, the left knee up. Flex generously into the left foot. Bring your hands together in Atmanjali Mudra. Keep the chest lifted as you sink down into the standing leg. Find a spot for your drishti. Two more steady breaths. Push into that big toe mound. Squeeze and lift into the belly. And then pushing into the standing foot. Extend the left leg forwards just briefly. And then lower it down, switching over to the other side. Standing foot left side. Bringing your right knee in nice and slow towards your chest. And then bringing the right foot across the left um, the leg above the knee, flex generously into that foot, open the right knee to the side to so feel the lovely openness in the hip, hands to heart center. And then sinking the hips down, bending slightly into the standing leg, keeping the chest lifted. Squeeze and lift into those bandas, push into the standing big toe. Focus on your steady anchor of breath. In and out. One more big breath in and out. Extend the right leg forwards with control. Keep that foot flex, squeeze into the thigh and lower it down nice and slowly. Come into standing mountain pose. Bring your hands to your heart center. So just coming back to that intention that you set in the beginning. Close the eyes. Just reaffirm that intention to yourself. Maybe it's your new beginnings. Remember being kind to yourself, self-compassion, loving kindness. Opening up the eyes, coming into tree pose. So rooting that right foot to the earth, Taking the left foot anywhere up the <clears throat> right standing leg, it can touch the earth, but not touch the knee. Bring your hands to your heart center, maybe growing your branches up to the sky. Use your drishti spot. Use your bandhas, squeeze and lift. Maybe you want to open your branches and sway them in the gentle breeze. And then hands back to your heart. Extend that right, the left leg forwards, just for a breath, and then replace it to the earth. Give your legs a shake. <clears throat> Standing leg, left side. Root that foot, padabanda into the earth. Find your spot for your foot. Remember, no competition, no ego. Just your practice. Whatever works for you, it's not for anybody else. Be kind, be gentle, no judgment. Growing those branches up to the sky. Maybe this time opening the arms, 
Spread the fingers wide, open the chest, open your heart center. Cactus arms. Inhale, reaching back up to the sky. Bring your hands to your heart center. Extend that right foot forward, squeeze into the thigh. Lower the leg down. Now into our revolved standing posture, our Rita Utita Hasta Padangustasana, quite a mouthful. So this one, use the strap if you need. I'll just demonstrate first. So standing leg, left foot into the ground. You're going to hook your, take your strap around your foot if you can't reach the foot comfortably. Now there's a couple of options here. Actually, let me show you this one first, where you hold onto the outer right knee and you reach the um, sorry, yeah, and you reach the right arm back. So holding onto the knee, you don't have to straighten the leg at all. So this is still revolving and twisting into the torso, looking back to the other hand. Option two, take the strap around the foot and lift the leg and straighten it as much as is possible. Option three, peace fingers, go around the big toe. So you choose what works for you. Find yourself a rooted to the earth and focus. Focus on your breath, focus on the bandhas, focus on the drishti spot. And remember the wall or a ledge or an edge of a chair is always available to you as well if you just need that added support today. So go for it in whichever way you feel you need to. So taking 10 breaths. So move into it slowly. Don't feel as though you have to achieve the full extent of the posture. Just take your journey. It's your journey, nobody else's. Two more breaths. Looking towards your back hand if that is available to you and then slowly letting the posture go. Coming over to the other side, 10 breaths. So move into it slowly with awareness. Listen to the feedback of the body. Use your drishti spots to start with. Holding onto the toe, holding onto that the outer knee, hold, holding onto the strap, you do what you need to. Squeeze and lift into the bandhas. Use that big standing toe. Use the strength of your breath. Two more breaths. And slowly coming out of the posture. So knowing sometimes it takes longer to get to the posture or the extent of your posture today. Don't rush, because when we rush, we stumble. But if you wobble, come back and keep trying. So coming back to stand at the top of your mat, going to take a vinyasa down to a yogi squat. So big breath in, sweep the arms wide, look up to your thumbs. Exhale forward, fold over the legs. Plant the hands, then inhale, that half lift, squeeze and lift of the belly. Enjoy using the left side and right side together. This is a reset. Plant the hands, step or jump the feet back. Take your vinyasa, so exhale, chaturanga, inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, exhale, downward facing dog. Then inhaling, bend into the knees and step or jump the feet to join up to the back of the, the hands into your yogi squat. So jump or step your hands, or your feet to your hands rather. So coming into your yogi squat, your version. So that might mean heels lifted. So work into your malasana. So chest lifts as much as possible. Depends on how your hips and your knees feel today. Use your props if you need to. 
Maybe reset your feet, have a little play with having the heels closer down or the feet a little bit wider apart. Try to drop those hips down, sink the hips a little bit lower. So using the elbows just to push the knees out a little bit. Lift the chest and gaze. So working into that side crow prep again. So we practice this on Monday. So this is a challenging one. I'm new to this full version too. So we're gonna go over to, we're gonna twist to the right first. So bending into the legs. So your thighs are kind of parallel to the earth. I can just move my, my ground so I don't snag the wires. The idea is that we twist as much as we can over to the right. So bring your hands round to the right first. Maybe come onto the balls of the feet. We're trying to bring that left arm around and the elbow across that outer right thigh as much as possible. So you really need to twist and, and extend that twist as much as possible. So connect that outer left arm with that outer right thigh. I'm just trying to get all my words right. So starting to bring the arms, the hands down to the earth, parallel with each other. Squeeze and lift into the belly. So connect strongly that side, that leg, to the side of that arm. And then start to bring the feet together. Chaturanga your arms. So bending to the arms, look forwards. Start to begin to lift left foot. Bring, squeeze the elb elbows in. Maybe, maybe, maybe lifting the other foot off as well. And then bring yourself down over to the other side. So this is a slow progression. I'll try to get us to work on this at least once a week. So over to the other side. So bend into the legs. We're twisting over like we did that Parabhuta Utkatasana. You're really twisting that arm across to the outer, the outer left thigh. Bring the hands down. Come onto the balls of the feet. You might find one side is easier than the other. Really bring that elbow across as close and as high up towards that uh, left hip as you can, hands down. Hands are parallel with each other, shoulder width apart. Look forwards, start to bring the feet together. So we're bringing the hips between and level over that space between the arms. So it's like the hips are coming center. So you can bring your weight center, really bring the elbow strongly into that side of that le left leg. So sometimes you need to reset. So I'm gonna reset, because I lost the connection. You really need to keep that connection very, very strong. So knees stack, feet start to stack. Bring the weight a little bit forward. Maybe lift one foot, squeeze the elbows in, squeeze into the belly, lift the feet, lift, lift, lift. Use your fingertips and then come back down. So just spending a brief breath or two with the feet lifted. Well done. Take child's pose. So drop the head to the floor, roll the shoulders forwards, Catch your breath. Nice breath in. We can take a little twist. So drop your hips to the left, twist yourself over to the right. So your knees kind of line up with each other, feet. It's like a little mermaid's position. So looking over your right shoulder just for a couple of breaths. 
and then bringing your legs feet the other side we'll row the spine nice and tall so lift the chest lift the gaze over to the far left over your left shoulder then extend the legs out front use your strap or block for this if you need to as you fold forwards so inhale reach up exhale reach forwards take the outsides of the feet or extend beyond the feet to a block but lift and lengthen the spine lift the chest the belly to land first on the thighs then the chest then the head drishti to the big toe or down to the shins Two more deep breaths. Squeeze and lift into the belly. So keep Mula Bandha, Udiyana Bandha engaged here. Because that will help draw your body down over the legs without actually pulling so much. You should almost be able to let go of the feet, the strap, and still stay folded forward. Take a nice breath in to lift. So you really use your core strength. Taking another twist, bringing your left foot in, your right foot crosses over the left thigh. Take your left hand across the right thigh and then reaching around with the right, right hand towards you, um, behind you. So taking that twist, look over your right shoulder, twist it a little bit more on every exhale. Big breath to center. Switching sides, bring the right foot in, left leg across, hooking the right arm across the left outer thigh, take the hand behind you, can even bind the hand behind the back towards the right hip, grow that spine tall, with every exhale twist around a little bit more, even if it's just a fraction, remember exhale release, Inhale to center. Extend the left leg long, <clears throat> taking the right foot to the outside of the left foot. Hook the left arm, wrap it around the right leg. Bring the left arm around the back and reach towards your left hip or left upper thigh. Open the chest to the side, take that twist. If it's available to you, you can take the left arm onto outside of the right thigh and twist. So it's very similar to the other one, but with the leg extended. Big inhale to center, and then taking over to the other side. So bringing that left foot up and then across. Bringing the right arm across to the outside of the left arm. Keep that right leg really active and that right foot flexed. Looking over your right shoulder, you can reach the left hand round the back towards the left hip. I mean, sorry, the right hip, right thigh. Look over your left shoulder. Squeeze into the belly. Big inhale to center. Taking a little grasshopper just for fun. So I'm going to face you this way. So extend the legs, bring your left leg across your right thigh. Start to spin to the right, you're twisting to the right. Take your right hand down to the floor. Start to bring your left arm around the outside front of that left uh, shin and reach towards your right foot, outer right foot. If you can't reach your foot, take a strap, hook a strap around it. So you're twisting, really strong twist to the right. From here, you're going to push into your right hand and you're going to lift the right leg off the floor. Push into the hand and into that left foot. Hold it here. So really lift that leg. If you feel like having a go at lifting the leg and the 
bottom off the floor. You lean forwards into the hand and into that left foot. And start to push into the hand and foot. Push, push, push. Straighten the arm up a little bit to drive that leg and hip off the floor. So now you're elevated. You're just balancing on your left foot and your right hand. Look forwards. Smile. Hold. Another two breaths. Squeeze into the belly. Look up a little bit. And then drop that leg back down over to the other side. So really twisting and working into the belly. Extend the legs long. Take the right foot across the outside of the left thigh. Start to spin yourself, your chest to the left. You're going to push into your left hand. Lean into that, your weight into that left leg. Reach your right arm forwards and then round towards the outside. Grab the outside of the right foot. Use the strap if you need to. So we're going to be pushing our weight into that right foot and that left hand. First of all, let's lift the leg off, just the leg. Squeeze into the core, really strong. If you want to take it up another notch, really push your weight into the foot and into the hand, squeeze and lift into the belly, really fully engage. Lean your weight forwards into, the, into that foot and hand, and then drive into the hand and foot, straighten the arm a bit, lift the leg up, look up. Strong breaths, strong into the belly, into the core, Two more breaths, you've got this. A little smile. Big breath in, exhale, release, slowly down with control. Coming down to lay down onto your backs. So I'm not quite finished yet, stay with me if you can. Rolling down onto your backs. Extend the legs up to the sky. And we're gonna eagle our legs. So you're gonna take your right leg over the left and you're gonna wrap as best as you can the right foot behind the left shin. Then you're gonna drop the feet down to the ground, your left foot to touch. You're gonna to take the arms wide, palms facing up. Big breath in, and then you're going to drop your knees over to the left. Keep your right shoulder, right arm glued to the floor, and look to your right hand. Breathe nice and strong, nice and steady. With every exhale, just allow those knees to fall a little bit closer down to the floor. Enjoy that twisting sensation all the way down the outer right side. A lovely stretch. Big breath into center. Release the bind of the legs. Extend the legs back up to the sky. Take the opposite bind of the legs. So we're really wrapping them. Start at the top of the legs. So bring the as high up as you can with the wrap. It's almost like you're trying to Send the legs in the opposite direction. Then bring the legs together, really glue them together, and bring that left foot behind the right shin. Bend it to the knees, drop the, is that the left? No, the right toe down, I don't know which is the left and the right when they're twisted. Arms wide. Then dropping them over to the right. Glue the left arm and shoulder down, look to your left hand. Strong, steady breaths, but particularly focusing on the exhale. So exhale much longer than the inhale. Because on the exhale, we release and let go. Let go, let go, let go. One more deep inhale. And long exhale. See if you can bring those knees down a little bit more to the floor. Keep that left, left arm and shoulder glued to the air. And then big breath into centre. Hug the knees in. And then extending the left leg 
long bring the right knee in just take a simpler twist over to the left with that right knee see how easy that probably feels and then extend the right leg if you can grab hold of the toe, big toe so this is like a lying down and supta version of Utita Hasta Padangustasana that revolved lying down. So we did the standing up, now we're doing it lying down. So look to your right hand. One more deep breath in. And exhale, release the foot if you had hold of it. And then switch over to the other side to extend the right leg long. Bring the left leg across with the knee bent to start. Look to your left hand. So taking that twist, and if it's available to you, extend the left leg, straighten the left leg, hold on to the big toe, or hold on to the knee like we did standing up as an option. So you can hold on to the knee, use the hand onto the side of the knee or onto the calf, onto the ankle, onto the big toe, wherever you can reach. Just to assimilate that stand, standing up version that we did on the floor now. Deep breaths. Nice long exhales. One more deep exhale, really exhale long. Then inhale, bring your knees to center. I need to open the door. My daughter's just got back from. So take some rock and rolls on your back. Just a few up and down. Excuse me a moment. <clears throat> and then lie down on your backs. Extend the legs up to the sky. Take your arms alongside the body. Push the backs of the arms, the shoulders, the backs of the shoulders into the floor. Squeeze into the belly, squeeze into the thighs. Flex your feet towards you. Now staying here, or taking the option to come up into shoulder stand. Or if you just feel like taking a headstand, take a headstand, your choice. But you can stay here and be Purita Karani if this feels good for you today. Remember, there's no ego involved, no judgment, no criticism. Take another five long, deep breaths wherever you are. You might want to take Halasana, plow. But wherever you are, just nice, steady, long breaths. Keeping the focus and attention inwards. My legs are quivering and shaking in this position. I know it's working. Just working on circulating, working into lymph drainage, detoxifying, stimulating the body. Taking a last deep, long breath in and out. And then rolling down out of your plow or out of your shoulder stand or come out of your headstand gently. Hugging the knees into chest. Give yourselves a lovely hug. And then extending the legs long, just, just take a little counter pose to your headstand or shoulder stand if you took it. Take the hands underneath the buttocks, palms facing down. Hug the elbows in, tuck the elbows in close, the wiggle in close. Open the chest. And then lifting the chest up to the sky as you drop your crown of your head down to the floor. Nice deep belly breaths. Just feel the openness in the front body. Don't over scrunch the back of the neck. So imagine you have an orange or a grapefruit in the back of the neck. You don't want to over bend the back of the neck. So don't crank the head back too far. You just let lightly, lightly touching the crown of the head to the floor. Or the back of the head. Two more deep breaths in and out. 
Then take a big breath in, push into your elbows really strong so you can lift the head up without straining. Look to your feet. Release the hands from underneath the buttocks. And then just window wipe the legs from side to side. Hug the knees in. Today we're going to finish in Sukhasana. So roll yourselves up to seated. So roll up to seated. Keeping the eyes closed or the gaze low. So choosing your position, you can take yourself onto a block or onto your cushion. Just going to spend a few moments in a seated relaxation. So today, keeping the eyes closed or the gaze low, as I said, bring your hands together consciously. Bring your hands to your heart center. This is Atmanjali Mudra. So sitting the spine, growing the spine, tall and long, shoulders over hips, but create some softness. We don't want to create hardness in the body. So although we're sitting upright, we're not stiff. A little softness in the belly. So allowing the body to breathe gently and steadily without forcing. So start to focus on the breath once more. Just noticing the breath flowing in and out in its natural rhythm. And then softening the muscles of the face. So unwrinkling the brow, taking the furrows out between the brow. It's almost like the, you can feel the forehead widen as you soften the muscles of the face. Unclenching the jaw, so just separating the teeth. Just allowing a little smile in the corner of the lips. Feeling the length in the back of the neck without straining. Feeling the space between the shoulders and the ears. Noticing the change in the rib cage and the belly as you breathe in and out. And then sending your gaze, your inner gaze, to your third eye. So Atmanjali Mudra is a greeting to the inner self. So this greeting activates brain activity and helps bring inner composure. So it, this mudra opens the inner door, if you like, in the mind, in the mind's eye, to inner calm. And with that calm, a source of strength and healing and wisdom and joy. So just follow the slow, steady pace of your breath. And then inviting yourself inwards. So just looking inwards to your inner mind's eye. Just your source, that's your source, your intuition, your inner understanding. And then let the light shine from the inner eye out. Feeling yourself fully present. Feel the light of your life ignite. So just using this mudra at any time that you need to connect with your inner self. And may it bring you tranquility and open up your inner wisdom, wisdom for your life. So staying as we are, 
Allowing your third eye down towards your heart center as you honor yourself and honor your practice. The light in me honors the light in you. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste. Thank you for your practice. Thank you for joining me. And have a wonderful day. Take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.